Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blog Brand, and guys, with a commentary to my GoPro footage that I went a couple of days ago to, for my weapons permit. I was out, I was out with the shooting range with an NRA instructor teaching me the ropes about how to everything from how to use a firearm, handle it, you know, load it, including the magazine, safety precautions, a little history with it, a little science with the bullet velocity, you know, gravity, and all that stuff. It was literally definitely an experience, you know, like, first off, you know, I grew up a military brat, a Navy brat, specifically going in from one mili military base to another, so obviously, like, me in the military, you're like, oh, this is really cool, and guns naturally fits in, but for a while, I've always been wanting to use a weapon, I've always, I, I never really fired a gun, ever, you know, I've, ha you know, I played airsoft, I, a lot. I used to play paintball, but I never really fired a gun. You know, I was like, and to some people, they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, I never really had the chance, nor, you know, the opportunity until now. And, you know, with this, I thought it was finally time to, you know, apply for a weapons permit. Now, I'm in the fifth strictest state, uh, you know, the lovable state of Connecticut. But, you know, as long as, you know, I you know, do the paperwork properly, you know, and everything else, you know, I should be fine. But out there on the shooting range, it was a very small shooting range. It was a group of us. It was basically just co-workers. And what, um, one, uh, you know, what we did was we went through a different variety of, uh, of ca caliber pistols and two uh, different revolvers as well. Well, this basically a different variety of bullets that we had to use. The one I didn't put in there was a Ruger, but it was a twenty. Uh, it was a twenty-two uh, caliber, so I didn't really uh, put that in that poor point twenty-two caliber, I think. But yeah, my mind's a little iffy today. So, but you know, first and foremost, safety first. I I cannot fucking stress this enough. This is a you know a weapon by itself is nothing, but it's the handler that is ultimately you know you have to safety precautions you know this is where you know playing airsoft and stuff comes in because we're always kind of very kind of stickler with uh weapons you know whether it is loaded or not never pointed at someone it's just you know rules are there safety is there because they don't want anyone to get hurt and yeah <laughs> i cannot stress this fucking enough here like the instructor will be on you on that shit so so cool thing is you know when I handle the two different revolvers personally, you know, I thought it was kind of cool, you know, just ejecting the bullets real quick and just, oh, God, spinning that wheel. But I don't really like the sight system on the two revolvers. I, I didn't really like it at all. Like, my uh, target was because there was a good amount of us there and only two targets up, so we basically had it in different sections and it was kind of windy. Uh, my target was basically the right... Uh, target sheet but the lower half of the body so basically i was pulling a butter is going for the nut shot and the instructor told me uh that i did pretty good that most of my shots were within a 12 uh inch uh diameter and i i had pretty decent grouping the again like the, the sights is the sights to the revolvers my aim was kind of a little off and then you know i've used the nine millimeter pistol i've, I've used the 40 caliber pistol which i'm not gonna lie that thing had that thing had fucking power to it like the recoil with that like you really were like ooh, you know you really got to grip it and yeah, i was a little off on that too because i kind of was like in a trigger happy boot i was like you know i really just like bam bam but uh with this you know i definitely want to go back out to the range again i am planning to buy my first firearm uh, soon, hopefully, uh, with my with the help of my tax return money, I'm thinking of starting off with a nine millimeter and ultimately leading up to a forty or forty five. Now, with my weapon of choice, I'm probably gonna go with the Glock because my instructor said that Glocks are basically like the AKs of pistols. No matter what you do to it, it's still gonna work. So, and then it was like it's you know easy to take apart, easy to clean. You know, it's just it's just gonna work basically. So. I'm going to go for that, and when you think it's like, you know, how expensive are pistols more than what I want, it's like 400 to $600 easy, you know, and yeah, <laughs> it gets a bit pricey, like, why am I always getting into things that are always with a huge price tag, oh, I don't know, but still either way, that was my footage over of there, and when you, when, I, when we fired the weapons, the GoPro, it sounded like it didn't really, it wasn't really that loud, but believe me, it kind of was, and ear protection, definitely. 
because we were outside so it wasn't that bad but when you shoot indoors yeah things get a little it's gonna be a little loud so uh but that's it for today P uh post down there in the comment box so what you think of the footage and are you gun owner yourself and what kind of weapon do you use other than that don't forget to subscribe and this is the geeky panda here on the geeky panda blog so remember stay geeky my friends